We will see how that response registers tonight. It'll be a touchback to begin. And Lewis and Brew McCoy, but they are both okay to go tonight, and that certainly will help the Amaliava to throw on first down. And he is already one for one. Squirrel White, a slide and catch for a first down. Two receivers stacked to either side. Here comes a blitz off the edge. Yamaliava, well protected. Finds the pressure and score a one. Catch and run for a first down. And there you see that jump cut ability of Dylan Sampson, the ability to just get lateral and then get vertical. Third and one. Losing the football is Yamaliava. A fumbled exchange at the mesh point and a takeaway for the Gators. And these are just the kind of things that you just can't afford when they're drive has started off so nicely you see Nico trying to pull it out of the belly of Dylan Sampson Dylan thinks he's going to give it to him you see he's just not sure what the ball handling isn't secure with the ball handling and this is you see they got a little bit of a condensed formation expecting man-to-man -man coverage Hurts he's going to run for it dives and gets it Tennessee needs to be convincing they needed to start fast in this game and they haven't so far they're on their heels here early they fake it to Jaden Ball and slip a little screen in the right flat to Deacon. He's about a yard shy of the first down. Trey Smack from 42. For the game's first points effortlessly knocks it right down the middle. So the Gators are on the board. Play action. Lifts off the edge. There's Brazel, his first catch. See, that's what they want to see. Nice rhythmic passing. Just get Nico into a rhythm. Tries to stay in rhythm. And it's traffic. Broke it up. Unless he held on to it. It looks like he did. Oh, what a catch. But he got popped by Jordan Castell and held on for 20 yards. You're going to see Castell just read the eyes of Ia Maliava and come offside with the break. Squirrel White. Down the sideline. Another first down for Tennessee. See, this is what Josh Heupel wanted to see. Now, another play action fake. This time he goes down. The pocket collapses. And the sack. Devin Moore came off the edge. That's what Florida wants. They want to make Nico hits with the football. You're going to see it here. He wants to let it go now. He has to pull it down. His eyes come down. Short circuited out near midfield. Now third and 26. Pocket collapsing again. Yamaliaba down again. And Tennessee will have to punt from midfield. A little twist stunt inside. You're going to see it right here. You're going to see him loop here. And then what winds up happening is the pocket starts getting collapsed. Blackwell. Bullets one up the sideline. <laughs> the catch oh was that on a rope for 17 when it jumps off of this young man's hand and you just see this big body here after the zone replay action fake just get out there just look at this ball it's effortless and it's right on time all four-man rush lagway breaks a tackle right up the middle of the field a slide Short of the first down of David Hobbs, third down and short. You see David Hobbs with a very nice pass rush. You see him with the arm over. He's able to get penetration on the pocket. But Lagway says, hey, look, dude, no problem. Third and one. Lagway, easy flip in the right flat to boarding head. Catch and run for the big tight end and a first down. Ball handling on the part of DJ Lagway. And you're going to see him here just get out on the edge there. And just flip this ball nice and boarding, have a nice easy touch throw so that he can turn it upfield in full command. Lagway. Screen out to the edge. Montrell Johnson. I think he might have a first down. Right at the line again. Where did they spot it? It is very close. Keeper. Yamaliava. Terrific ball fake. He froze the Florida defense and found a running lane for a first. Graham Mertz back in the game as he takes over a quarterback. Play action. Flips one on the right flat. Aiden Hansen. Catch and run first down. They have used their tight ends and used them well. 
There's a crease. Oh, that, that run from Montreal Johnson. Oh, did he finish with authority to the 38-yard line? I mean, you just see the double teams at the point of attack. Just look at it all here inside. Look at how they're able to get movement. And both of the interior defenders wall them off, get pushed at the point of attack. It may not have been as successful, but I can do that. Another shot inside the 25-yard line. Another tight end catch for Arliss Boardingham in front of Andre. Another handoff to the workhorse. He's inside the five. Johnson at the goal line, just short of the end zone. Back up to the line of scrimmage. They're just blowing them off the ball. You see them, they are just getting people on skates, getting their shoulders turned. Hurts, quarterback skate, hoping for the push at the goal line. No signal. Get the ball pop out. Tennessee thinks it came loose. They've got the takeaway. Did James Pierce rip it out? You get another look at it here. You can see Mertz is fighting. And now you see they're trying to spread them out, see if they can get somebody one on one down the field. Pass protection is there. But an interception is thrown. Sharif Denson, the takeaway by the Gators, and they're back in business. Zone coverage by Sharif Denson. You're going to see it right here. He's just going to step right in front of this switch release, right into the throwing window. Good eyes on the quarterback. Good periphery of the re receiver combination. Foul, unnecessary roughness. Offense number 74. Half the distance to the goal. First half. That's how you play zone coverage where you put your eyes on the quarterback, feel the receivers, and that's just a bad decision on the part of Nico Iamaleava. You can't throw that football and stare down your primary and not move underneath zone defenders with your eyes and expect to complete it. You stare them down, you lead the defenders right to where you're going. You see him right there, he never looks him off. He's looking right at his primary. That's something he's gonna have to get better at. And he said, Play action. He's under pressure. Mertz feels it. Across his body. He's got a wide open dick in. Hit from behind. The ball pops out, but it's out of bounds. Safely along the sideline. That is his best friend. They played three years together at Wisconsin before coming together to the Gators. Watch the effect that the ball handling has when you've been running the football effectively. You see how the second level defenders are all up in the. Johnson. Down the sideline. Just about broke it. That was a one-on-one -on -one touchdown saving tackle by Christian Charles. Hurts. He's going to take off and run. Makes a nice move into the secondary and gets dragged down in the red zone. 15 yards on the scramble. You see immediately, first read is not there. He pulls it down. He sees that the linebacker, Jeremiah T. Lander, had taken away his primary option. Tennessee, they got to get another stop here. They got to rise up once again. Hurts. End zone. Touchdown. He finds the tight end, Arliss Boardingham. They go 92 yards, Lewis, and end up in the end zone. Yeah, you can see Boardingham, he just arc releases and then gets up the seam, and they have some miscommunication in the secondary. Then here, you're going to see Graham Mertz. They're right there, you just see his leg just get caught in the ground, a little bit weird. Non-contact injury. Wow. It's almost like playoff games, or seemingly so in the SEC. Hyper speed. Yamaliaba on the rollout. Across his body, reaching up, climbing the ladder, and pulling it in is Brazel. We want to go fast. Jump cut. And it looks to be good enough for a first down for Dylan Sampson. Big bodies in. We got the two tight ends. Got a lineman in the backfield. Sampson. First down.
formation. They've got Kitzelman. Looks like they have defensive lineman Jackson Moy line to go the rest of the way. But certainly not a pure backup quarterback situation as Lagway goes to work and throws an interception. Tennessee's right back in the red zone. Carter, watch him sink underneath that sail route. This is textbook, folks. It doesn't look any prettier than this. Get the jam of the line of scrimmage, sink and gain depth, play it from deep to short, take away the seven route, break up on the flat route. You see, he's trying to get the ball on that sail route to Trey Wilson. He thinks he's got Arian Carter right where he wants him. Pressure rushes you, forces you into an air throw. 35 yards out. The only player this season in the SEC that's scoring more points per game. He'll throw and connect. Trey Wilson knifes his way across the 40 to the 43-yard line for a first down. See him taking control at the line of scrimmage. Keeper, Lagway, hit from behind, protects the football. Five-man rush. Lagway hit as he throws. That's caught. <laughs> Short of the first down, but it at least creates a decision. Can you get him out on the edge? Give him some options. Here comes the blitz. One on one. Back it up. Jermaine McCoy knocked it away from Trey Wilson. Drop out and play coverage. Here comes the blitz. No simulation on this pressure. They are after Ian Maliava. Speed to the edge. Reaches the ball out. Where will they spot it? Forced by the Florida defense. A fantastic effort, though, by Nika. Nico trying to get that ball there, just using that six foot five. He will throw. He's under pressure. Scrambling at the goal line. It comes out wobbly and falls incomplete. Josh Joseph's got a piece. Mayhem getting off the field on third down. Crawshaw's one of the best, but a wobbly kick. McCoy in plus territory. Returnable. Inside the 30 yard line by the time he's brought down. The SEC every single Saturday. And Sampson breaks free. Pass call. Touchdown. Fantastic. As far as his open field running skills, they could use a big return here. Wobbly kick. DK. Makes the first man miss. Makes the second level miss. DK near midfield with a spin move across the 50. Into Tennessee territory. Go ahead, touchdown. And now he starts in plus territory with the short field. The handoff to Jaden Ball. Another true freshman. He's got a first down. Youth will be served. The Vols show blitz. Here they come. Quarterback draw. Lagway driven back, and maybe now they're going to have to punt. But look who it is. So Ross again. Another line drive kick. DK will try another return. His last one, 30 yards. Impactful. He turns the corner. He gets a block. Another great return. What are you going to do? We're about to find out. And off to Jacoby Jackson with a stiff arm. Lowers his shoulder and picks up a first down. Got to have a touchdown. And they're having a hard time getting lined up. Three on the play clock. They'll hand it and lose yardage with Jacoby Jackson getting spun down by Bryson Easton well behind the line. But they get the 10 seconds back. Minute 18 to go. Black way to throw. Sets up the screen. Caught by Jackson. Nowhere to go along the sideline. And he stays in bounds as well. That'll keep the clock rolling. Arion Carter got there first. Heavy hitters freed up. And if you're Florida, move him. Over the middle towards the end zone. He's got his man, DK, for a touchdown. Can't recover Andre Turrentine. He just can't 
get back in the position. The backside safety, Will Brooks, doesn't have enough depth to help him in time. And DJ with an absolute laser as he escapes up into the pocket. You know, you've got a freshman quarterback. Look at this work. Listen, look at this. Eyes down the field, throw on the move. Tape, he's made for this, and here they go. The Gators with a trick play formation. Line up Lagway. And now a timeout with the play clock timeout. winding down. Tennessee, Tennessee on defense. It'll be 30 seconds. Perfect in his career on point after attempts to tie the game. And we are now deadlocked at 17. Now still went out of bounds, or at least fumbled it out of bounds. Long throw to the sideline. And Squirrel White pull it in. Right foot is when he controls this football. Right. Ruling on the was here. Pass. The previous players under video review. Toe down in control. He has it. And you can take a pretty quick review. After video review, the ruling is a catch for a first down at the 38 yard line. Please reset the game clock for 20 seconds. 20 seconds on the game clock, please. The most. Make sure you understand the assignment. Tennessee needs a chunk play and a player then to give himself up. There goes Iamaliaba. And he will get close to midfield. Flag thrown back at the line of scrimmage. Five seconds remaining. Holding. Offense number 74. Take down penalty. We play third down. And it's just John Campbell Jr. You're going to see him right here. He just isn't able to stay on balance feels his belt as though he's going to lose the pass rush inside five seconds to go so they're just going to run the football here and barring a miracle run by dylan sampson we're going to overtime and that is where we are headed and they'll bring Jaden ball into the backfield to help protect swing pass instead to ball <laughs> Bryson Eason track ball right out to the flat and flattened him. A loss of six. And you're just going to see Bryson Eason. He reads it perfectly. They're going to have a stunt going on anyway. James Pierce coming on inside. He's this one from 47. some way. Iamaliava flips one in the flat. Holden stays. Every few yards will help what will eventually you have to think. Guy going for the strip. Do everything you can to turn this over. They run it right up the middle. That looks to be good enough for a first down for Dylan Sampson. Getting a push. But they'll mark him down at the 14 yard line. That's right. <laughs> Put it in my hands. Instead, one on one on the edge. Dragged out inside the five yard line is Dante Thornton. Sampson with a push. A pile up inside the two yard line. I think they marked him short. Proudly acting as a touchdown. Stops. That's not reviewable. That's a judgment call. But just look at the effort of Dylan Sampson. You can see his legs just continuing to push. His back is turned. He continues to put him top it off. Sampson 